Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this quick video, I'm going to show you my Larson Bismarck uh, storm door. I just got finished installing. Going to show you some of the highlights and how it just ended up looking. Picked this up at Lowe's for $144, I think $155 or something with tax. That was the um, box that it came in. It's pretty heavy. You'll need probably two people to kind of get it in place and get it set down. What I did is I actually used this uh, sawhorse and this chair with a piece of wood had the table uh, excuse me had the door on the on these two and then I was able to put the the hinges on like that I think it kind of depicted that in the installation also so that actually worked really well but it's really nice to have somebody uh, help you get that turned over right get it on there without damaging it it's pretty heavy okay here's the screen door itself The installation went pretty easy, actually. I mean, it took quite a while. I mean, it must have started at uh, 9 o'clock, so it's been a good four or five hours of work. Uh, I did have a lunch in between, so there's that. This model is basically has uh, glass on the top, glass on the bottom, and the bottom one can slide up and down. Right now it's in the up position. That's the type of... A handle you get no lock on this one because this is their most inexpensive model this is what it looks like from the inside and mine has the uh, door polar which is pretty nice I guess all of them have that <laughs> uh, one weird thing I wanted to point out that I did have to do is uh, this here is the catch for the uh, for the latch and I had to build up a couple pieces of wood here to actually have it reach. It did come with a couple pieces of plastic, but they weren't nearly big enough. So I had to build that up a bit, but it seems to work just fine. Um, yeah, seems like a good door. This is, by the way, some kind of uh, PVC. This is not metal. And I don't know what else to say. It's a door. It has the bottom uh, skirt, of course. Went on no problem. Uh, mine, when I close it, maybe it's just how I have it adjusted. It doesn't always, well, okay, that time it did. It doesn't always latch, so you just have to give it a tiny pull. I know you can adjust the power of this, but I think it's already pretty high. So I'm just going to leave it alone. Um, yeah, everything, the instructions were pretty clear, I should mention. I put them up here so we could see. And by the way, this door can be used in left-hand or right-hand hinge. It uh, has everything you need for both. Can't really see the instructions that good right now because you can see through to the other side a little bit. But you get the idea. They're actually really, really good. A lot of detail, pretty much all the detail you need. There, there's the saw horses I was mentioning. Uh, the only thing that kind of lacked, I guess, on the instructions, I don't, I think I'm, oh, here, here's part of them. When you go to the hinges, that's it for, not the hinge, excuse me, the handle. That's all you get for the handle. It is nice to give you this uh, guide, which helps you, um, screw the holes correctly but the info it was kind of limiting like it didn't mention which screws or anything like that same thing with the polar i'm not sure is this it yeah that's the polar the, the instructions for the polar were okay a little bit lacking compared to the the main part of the door so anyway um i did have to dig into my own random bits and bobs for the for the screws here so I had to do that and I used this piece of wood I randomly had to, to kind of build that up and then here's all the tools that I used for the whole project my regular Ryobi normal drill I didn't have to have this but I also used this um, this Bosch uh, driver for the for driving the screws and use this one for drilling two different size uh, drill bits you'll need for the whole project now this one's actually a little bit smaller than what they recommend uh, I think it said one eighth or something. This is a little bit smaller, but it worked just fine. And then you have a five sixteenth for the uh, for one other part that, well, it's for the for the holes for the for the latch. Uh, otherwise, I did use this a couple times. I did need to do some adjustment to a couple of different things. I think that's common with doors; you have to do minor adjustments. I didn't have a wood file, but this one did work just fine. Uh, for instance, I had to shorten this skirt just a tiny bit because it was not quite fitting. That just took a few minutes. I did some filing of my woodwork here. I did a filing up at the top to get everything fit, fitting correctly. Not a lot, but just a little bit. Uh, same thing with the saw. I've had to cut a couple things. 
don't even remember what I use the scissors for. Uh, normal Phillips head screwdriver. Somewhere I have a flat head screwdriver I used as well. A mallet I used for a couple things and a pencil. So pretty basic tools. You don't really need two. You, you definitely don't need two drills. Basically this here alone should be enough uh, to get you going. I also did some painting because I wanted that to look just like a little bit better. So that's pretty much it. That's my review of this uh, storm door installation. Thanks everybody for watching. See you in the next one.